So the real question is, what does a K-pop news article and polyvinyl chloride have to do with you, the humble Pokemon card collector? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go through quite a bit of gyration in order to connect all those dots, tell you exactly what PVC is and why it is your worst enemy. But before we get started, as we always do, let's roll that intro. <laughs> Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, friends, we talk about polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, or that thing, quite literally every single sleeve responsibly made for trading cards claims to be free of. But the real question is, what is PVC, and why do many different trading card products claim to be PVC and acid free? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go through the process of looking at and talking about PVC, talking about what it does to trading cards when they are exposed to the chemical, and more importantly, why you should always be looking to purchase PVC-free items in order to store and protect your trading cards for the long run. But before we get started, as always, definitely feel free to leave a like if you learn anything in today's video. Of course, if you already have an idea of what PVC is, definitely feel free to keep me honest down below in the comments. And hey, if you enjoy today's content, you enjoy the community, and you enjoy my videos, definitely feel free to subscribe to join the Gengar gang. But without further ado, let's jump right on in. Now, in order to find uh, PVC stuff, I... It, it, it took me quite a while. Long story short, here I am browsing on Amazon when I see a bunch of new card saver like products pop up on the market. Now, card savers are really weird because the original ones that are probably the most popular were made by a company named Cardboard Gold. Obviously, during the pandemic, uh, much like every other thing ever made in the history of humanity, it got delayed because of the pandemic, and as a result, many 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 competitors popped up basically either making some combination of sleeves hard tops hard cases uh, semi-rigid card holders as they're called which are effectively just card savers etc etc and the intention behind all of this was that they would provide a cheap easy to purchase alternative to cardboard gold's original product which was obviously experiencing pretty severe shortages and just in case anyone doesn't know this it got so bad that PSA actually decided to start accepting cards in top loaders which was basically the one thing they swore they would never do um, and the reason they did this again was because it was just so hard to find semi-rigid card holders because it was one of the things that was weirdly impacted by the pandemic and the related supply chain issues however when I started doing research, what I started realizing is some of these products are not PVC free. Now in the past, I've always seen PVC free as a claim that is made on various items. And in the past, I swear that I had done some research into what PVC is and how it works. And I'm not, and you're not, going crazy by the way. When I say PVC, I'm talking about the exact same pipe that you're you know thinking about so there's the PVC pipe and then there's PVC all sorts of other stuff and PVC is just a chemical that exists in many different things including that pipe and including other stuff so I thought I had a good understanding but then I started doing quite a bit of research and here is what I found now on screen you're seeing a article from a k-pop uh, uh, something or the other. Uh, it's news, I swear. Anyways, uh, links will be down below as always, by the way. But when I started doing some light and casual reading on this, what I found is that this article actually hits the nail right on the head. So here's how you might be unintentionally damaging your photo cards and what you can do to prevent it. So, <clears throat> in this particular article, uh, this person's writing about these K-pop photo cards, which are effectively just trading cards, um, but, you know, not with the whole trading card game aspect, effectively just photos instead of anything else. Now, long story short, they get stored in binders, very similar to the way we would store trading cards, but what they found is that this could sometimes be the end result if one is not careful about how they store their photo cards. And the reason that is, is because certain manufacturers, much like the ones that I found in my research, are using chemicals such as PVC to make their plastic products and as a result of that 
the PVC will damage the products over time. So one company, KMC Sleeves, uh, makes this statement regarding the you know materials that they use. In order to make PVC more flexible, plasticizers have been added to, to the compound that should be considered dangerous and damaging to archival materials. These plasticizers will not only release chemical gases into the air, but they will cause a breakdown of the material over a surprisingly short period of time. Photo pages will seem oily to the touch and will begin to soften and yellow. So to protect your photos from damage, say no to PVC and look to polypropylene pages instead. Now we're gonna ignore the kind of the back half of the last sentence there, but what we will do is take a look at this component right here. Your photos or your trading cards will eventually be exposed to the chemicals which leach out of the plastics that PVC are made of. And as a result of that, they will begin to seem oily, which is the plastic residues and the chemicals leaking out and sitting on top of your photos, your trading cards, etc., etc. And then over time, those same plasticizers will react with the inks with the surface of your items and they will begin to soften so that's that photo that we saw up here and then over time they will also yellow so here are some other examples of what pvc leach or pvc leakage or whatever you choose to call it can do to um, something like a trading card now of course, uh, it wasn't even a surprise to find out, but they use PVC in phone cases, and so here's a TikTok of someone who literally found out the hard way that the PVC in the phone case would also leach onto uh, a photo that she had on the back of her phone uh, sandwiched between the phone and the phone case. So that's just another example of how this stuff plays out. Finally, but not least, towards the end of this, they obviously went ahead and recommended something to use. Uh, so here you can see a pretty good example of some Ultra Pro sleeves, and these ones seem to be perfect for small gaming cards, or in this case for the photo cards that this article was originally intended for. And as you can see, right where my mouse cursor is, no PVC and acid free. And that's really what you're looking for. This is also colloquially known as being archival quality. Um, and ironically enough, we even got a shout out in here. So before I get to the shout out, it's important to buy acid free in addition to no PVC. The term was popularized in the 90s by sports cards collectors. Some discovered that the materials used to store their cards caused them to yellow and harden, leaving their collection damaged. And then the shout out we get is actually because uh, they very strongly recommend using Pokemon trading card binders, which are, happenstantially, both PVC and acid free. And as a result, they are a great way to store your trading cards, your photo cards, etc., etc. Now, in addition to the research that was done particularly on this particular article, I did end up diving into some other stuff. So I actually went to a Magic the Gathering. Uh, I guess this is a post or forum of some sort, but what I found is that someone asked the exact same question. So why are all the sleeves and the items that I'm looking for PVC free? And what does PVC do to Magic the Gathering cards? So this is just further proof that it impacts trading cards as well as photo cards from the original K-pop or the Korean Boo article. And what you can see here is that you got a variety of answers, and again, this article or this link will be down below so you can check it out as well. But you got a bunch of comments that basically confirm what we saw in the Korea Boo uh, article as well. So it's left over from comic book collecting, but PVC plastic bags can harm what's inside them because the chemicals in the PVC will seep or bleed out and then will eventually affect whatever is held within them. Uh, so, you know, there are some other people who kind of chimed in with some, uh, you know, health concerns uh, regarding PVC, but to focus specifically on the items related to the efforts of Pokemon card preservation, uh, this was probably the most um, important thing that I saw here. So PVC is short for polyvinyl chloride, a popular and widely used plastic that has countless industrial applications, blah, 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 blah. Where the problem lies is that such storage is suitable only for the short term, say less than six months. After that, the chemical softening agent that gives PVC its great flexibility, so think semi-rigid card holders, think sleeves, etc., etc., may start to leach out. So over time, this can settle onto a coin or a Pokemon card or a booster box and deposit an oily film. 
that sickly green slime that leaves an outline of the coin on the flip and adheres to the points of the coin itself, or in this case, completely destroys your first edition base set Charizard and sends you into a deep dark spiral. Now, uh, the last thing I was able to do was just look it up and kind of confirm and yeah, it's the same exact PVC, but I think this is a really interesting point because we see it, we know about it. The thing is, is that you got to be on the lookout now. One of the things I have noticed is because there are so many competitors now entering the space and trying to compete and take advantage of short supply of certain items, many people and many companies may be tempted to cut corners. So whereas in the past it was an industry standard to simply not include PVC in your semi-rigid card holders because you knew enthusiasts would be placing their trading cards into the sleeves, um, they are now using the PVC because they frankly don't care. They're just trying to cut costs as well as compete and crank out as many of these items as possible. One additional item that everyone should consider is that it is now seeming to become very much more popular to individually sleeve your trading cards in a sleeve and then put it in a semi-rigid card holder. And so, if any manufacturer makes the assumption that that's the way people are doing it nowadays because that's what's popular, they may choose to include PVC in those items assuming that you're going to be sleeving your cards. As a result of that, however, should you be one of the weird, odd people out who doesn't sleeve their cards before placing it into a semi-rigid card holder, you might find out the hard way that there's PVC in the particular items that you are purchasing. So, with all that said, be on the lookout. Again, the best thing and the easiest thing you can do to protect your Pokemon card collection for the long run is to always purchase acid-free and PVC-free items. Again, most manufacturers make it very clear and very obvious, and the best thing you can do is buy from the big guys if you don't trust the one-off random brands. Places and companies like Ultra Pro and Cardboard Gold have been the industry standard for a long time. They're tried, true, and tested because they've been in sports, they've made their way over to MTG, and finally they are now catering to and also serving Pokemon as they have been for many, many years. So the good news is that you can always consistently trust these guys and their products because you know for a fact it's tried, true, and tested. And if you want to jump in to a new brand and you know, learning and working and understanding a little bit more about their products, just make sure that you're consistently on the lookout for the PVC and the acid and the little disclaimer that says no PVC or acid free. Best thing you can do is always confirm that there's no PVC and that it's acid free and don't just assume that because the big guys are doing it too. But with all that said, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to call it a TCG toolkit video because it's helping you learn how to preserve and protect your collection. And so if you're interested in other types of guides like this one or other types of learning exercises like this one, definitely feel free to let me know down below. And at the end of this video, I'm going to include the link to the TCG toolkit playlist. It has a whole bunch of different how-to guides and things and videos that will help you as a viewer understand different aspects of Pokemon trading card collecting. So definitely feel free to leave a like if you learned anything today or you like the content on the channel. Again, feel free to share it because at the end of the day, it is meant to simply be educational and help people understand the hobby a little bit better. Um, and as always, hey, you're already here. If you liked today's video and you watched all the way through, definitely feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It's the best way to help support the channel. It's totally free and it helps me grow and know that I'm doing uh, a good job at creating content that you all want to see. Of course, happy holidays to everyone. Today is Tuesday, but obviously Christmas was last week. There are a bunch of other holidays that either have happened or are happening right now. And of course, New Year's is this coming Saturday. This Saturday, got a, got a nice little, uh, you know, hint, hint on screen right now. Go vote if you haven't already, but I got a nice little surprise for you guys coming up. So I'm super excited to drop the video. I accidentally released the other one on Saturday, so this one will be on Saturday too, regardless of what I may have said in the past. But with all that said, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I uh, hope you guys are having an amazing day, and we will talk soon. Peace. Peace.